Hi folks, it's Max from Epic4GTouchroot.com. So I've got an overview of the Blue Cuban ROM. Um, this is the latest version that I'm running here. Uh, let me show you here. Setting about phone. Uh, it comes with Cuban kernel, its own kernel. Uh, you also do have a choice of other kernels and also uh, it comes with extension tweaks. Um, this is really nice. You can actually tweak uh, your CPU, your GPU, all of that stuff if you want to do that. Um, let it load here. And also this ROM does come very highly themed. Uh, some of you may have used this before. Let's see, you can go all the way up to 1.6 gigahertz if you want to for um, gaming profiles, GPU. Also you can raise the GPU steps here. This will overclock your GPU for HD gaming voltages. I don't actually recommend uh, messing with the voltages. Kernel Let's see, I.O., USB, uh, memory, network, gestures. Oh, for the network, it also does with comes with uh, the Sprint uh, proxy hack. So you don't actually have to do the hack to get faster 3G, 4G. This one comes it with it enabled. So that's really nice. Um, let's look at some of the other stuff here. About phone, uh, you get 4.0.4 .4 based off, this one's uh, based off FI27. Uh, the latest build as of this video, but it might be by the time you see this video, it might be a newer version. Um, that's fine too. And options here, uh, pretty cool stuff. And also, you get the battery bar at the top. Um, now it's about 50%. Uh, that's a nice little mod there. And it comes with a ton more options. Um, also, jelly bean animations. And if you hold down the menu button, uh, you won't get anything. Search button. Um, there is no Google Now on this one, but you can add Google Now, pretty easy to do. Uh, also, Task Manager there. It also comes with a choice of many launchers. I'm actually running the TouchWiz UX launcher here. Um, I think this is one of the best ROMs out there right now for the Epic 4G Touch. Also, it gets updated very often. But let me show you how to install this ROM. Uh, you'll need to download the ROM file and also download the, uh, the safe kernel that I'm included. So go ahead and power off and hold down, uh, copy those two files over to your phone before you do this. And then you're going to hold down the volume up and the center button. I know many of you are having trouble with it, so that way I just include a installation video for this phone. And keep holding it down until you get into whatever recovery it's on. There we go. And the menus might be a little bit different, but it should be similar. Whatever your recovery is on, go ahead and install the safe kernel. So I'm going to go install zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from internal or SD card where, wherever you put the files. I put it in my internal. And go to my download folder. And then I'm going to use that safe kernel. That's the link I'll have to um, on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and install the safe kernel. This is so you won't break your phone. And uh, there we go. Once that kernel's flash, go back and uh, go to advanced. And uh, there should be a menu for reboot recovery, but this one doesn't. Eh, okay. This it should be under advanced, but if it's not, um, you can go to reboot menu, reboot recovery but it should be under advanced so go ahead and choose reboot recovery because we just flashed the safe kernel we want to actually use the recovery on the safe kernel not the one we're using and uh, once this is done this is safe to do you can now do a fa data white factory reset say yes and that's where the brick happens if you're not on the safe kernel so that's why um, things have been erratic with this phone and a lot of the galaxy uh, Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So go to install zip from SD card now and install the ROM. And I put it in my internal, so I'm going to go there in my download folder. And the Blue Cuban, uh, the ROM zip file you copied over earlier. Say yes. And this will bring up the Aroma installer for the uh, latest versions, So which is nice. And that's what I wanted to show you, anyways. Um, so that's why I include the installation video. And once you see this, um, you can go to default, minimal, custom. I highly recommend custom. So you can choose different kernels. 
I do recommend Kuban Kernel for this one. Also boot animation, you have all these choices. Uh, launcher, this is kind of cool. You can get the, I've got the uh, modded S3 launcher. So it's a TouchWiz UX launcher that I was using, which is really nice. Or you can go with Apex or Nova uh, if you want a uh, pure Google feel. And also calendar, you can choose uh, which calendar you want, TouchWiz calendar or AOSP. And also um, there's a ton of stuff you can do here. Uh, stock setup with Blue Kuban, or you don't want all of this, you can choose those options. And uh, lock screen, lock, all these lock screens. AOSP, uh, secondary buttons, ad blocking, uh, LED mods, roaming fix, a lot of cool stuff here, sounds, and also pull down mods, you know, different way of pulling down animations there. Uh, status bar mods, you know, a ton of stuff you can do. Um, so that's kind of the, you know, the core of this, this, um, this ROM that you can customize all of that and also the Google Apps all of the apps you want to install here uh, a lot of options and then that's it and you install now and uh, once you you should be all good to go um, and don't forget to use titanium backup app to back up your apps before doing this um, and also use uh, gmail for your contacts and also sms backup app to back up your sms text backup uh, text messages and that's pretty much it and you should be on the latest um, latest blue kuban and if it gets updated and you want to update without, you know, restoring all of your apps and all of your stuff, if you're already on Kuban, usually you can just install over it without a data wipe factory reset. So you can skip that step if you're coming from a previous version of Blue Kuban and upgrading. Otherwise, I do recommend doing a, wipe, a data wipe factory reset. Um, sometimes, you know, whatever you had on the previous ROM can mess up things. So uh, that's pretty much it. And reboot, and you should be all good to go. And uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll actually reboot this time. Um, if you have an Epic 4G Touch, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, epic4gtouchroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, please hit that like button for me if, you, um, if you're on YouTube. Subscribe button up there if you have. Thanks a lot. And that's the boot up animation. And uh, this is a very good ROM for beginners, um, for those of you, or if you want to just stick with the one ROM, the Blue Kuban is definitely the way to go because the developer up updates uh, his ROM all the time and it's a pretty solid ROM and uh, gives you, you know, everything with stock plus more. Um, so definitely a great ROM to stay with. Uh, if you want to go, if you're, you know, if you have more time and if you want to flash more ROMs, definitely try the AOKP. The, the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROMs, um, those are still kind of a beta, so y you know you're you know you're risking some stuff and you're sacrificing some of the Samsung stuff uh, with those. But otherwise, um, this ROM should be awesome. Also, this this has a way more mods. You should just check out the XDA uh, link in the credit section. There's like stuff like silent camera, um, a ton more stuff. So definitely, you know, one of the best ROMs you can still. Uh, get for your epic 4g touch and uh, let me just wait till it completely boots up to show you that it's working um, that way you don't freak out when you install it it should take another 20 seconds or so and uh, that's pretty much it there you go so once you get this uh, startup screen should be all good to go just set up and uh, you know restore all your apps restore your wife restore your kids you know all good to go anyway thanks you guys um if you alright Oh, you know, for some reason I installed another launcher. That's why I didn't. I don't have my TouchWiz anymore. I think this is the L. Is it, which one is this? I think this is the LG launcher. Um. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. See y'all later. Stay high on Android. Yeah.